You big nuns! Well, hello, big nonces. It's Friday, it's me, Dog Bomb. It's another India review. Um, and a real treat for you this week. Um, it's a brand new game, it's free, and you can play it on your PC and your Mac. Um, if you have a PC and a Mac. If you haven't got a PC and a Mac, you, you can just play it still on your PC or your Mac. Um, but I would recommend you get both so that you can enjoy all of the indie games that are released for both. Um, now this game was released um, last weekend, so it's brand new, it's new to me, it's new to you, and as you can tell by this th this, this lovely intro screen, it's a bit retro. Um, so, let's give it a shot and see what we think. It's called Rocky Memphis and the Temple of... Te tem temple? It's called Rocky Memphis and the Temple of O... o that's a rude word, big nonsense, I've just realised. You can read it there on the screen. If you read it out loud, it's rude. So I'm not going to read it out loud, but um, we'll give it a go. Oh, as you can see, um, it is quite retro. Um, you play this little chap here who looks surprisingly like um, Rick Dangerous. I don't know if you remember him. He was uh, he was on the Commodore 64, and it's very much like a Commodore 64 game. This, except I'm playing it on a PC. It's a bit, it's amazing. In the top left-hand corner, there it says items remain. I've just picked something up. There was four thousand when I began. Um, and in the top right, you've got a little a little clock. And there's not very many keys. You haven't got any weapons or anything. You've just got. Um, a hat, which I don't think you could do anything with. That thing there kills you. I thought it was a platform, but it doesn't. It kills you. And you've got ladders, you've got ropes you can push up and down on. Uh, you can push up to jump, or you can press Z on the keyboard. I'm pressing Z. A little detail there that you might wish to know about. Fire, that kills you, I guess. Massive snakes, they kill you. Oh, I just picked something. Picked up a bit of a gimp mask there. It's made me run run a bit faster. Now, ev pretty much everything that moves kills you. And everything that flashes is you yours to pick up. Anything spiky guessing kills you as well. I've not touched any spikes yet, but... Oh, lots of shiny things up there, big nonsense. I'm going to go back for them. So the aim of the game is to uh, is to click all 4,000 things. I don't think I'll manage... To oh, I'm just trying to spikes. Yes, spikes do kill you. I don't think I'll manage to... I don't know how you get through there. I don't think I'll manage to uh, complete the game in the brief time I'm playing it, but some of you will because you can, if I remember rightly, press S. Oh yeah, you press S and save it. So there, I've just saved it. And there it is there. I've done 1%. Bit of a treat. Shiny thing. Um, now the... Oh, look at this. You have to be careful when you come out of a room because there's often something... Nasty there waiting for you. That's just advice for life though. Anytime you come out of a room, just have a little look left, have a little look right. If you see something that oh I've slowed down now, my mask fell off. If you see something nasty then uh, maybe just back it back up into the room. Leave it be. Don't mess. Now if you look down the bottom, very bottom, this this room here is called the Flames of Retrox. Don't know what that means. But all the rooms have little names. It's a bit like um, um, that follow-up game to Manic Miner. And it wasn't called Manic Miner 2, it was called uh, Jet Set Willy. Another rude, another rude name. I think that's probably where they got the, the idea for this name from. Sometimes games developers like putting little rude names in the title. 
speaking of the title, if you look at the Tolitans, what you Memphis in the Temple of uh, Temple of uh, as you can see. Um, now that's kind of it looks a little bit like Indiana Jones, and I think that's where this has taken a lot of inspiration from Indiana Jones. And obviously Rick Dangerous, as I said earlier, be except he doesn't scream like a girl when you get hit. Oh, a little uh, trolley up there. Barrel, jump over that. Yes. This one's called DJ's Tunnels. Don't know what that means. There's probably a lot of in-jokes and stuff that I'm not really getting in these levels. Now, I like the style of the game just because I, I grew up with the uh, Commodore 64. And I, qu I quite like the fact you have to go around and collect loads of stuff, but... Well, this might be a little bit controversial, but... I'm not that keen on going around collecting 400 bits of... Uh, bits of shit that somebody else has dropped all over the place. I mean, if it was my own stuff, fair enough. I mean, I'll pick it up and I'll... But this is just... This is just madness, this. Just going around collecting other people's rubbish that they've chucked about. Some mines. 4,000 things, honestly. I mean... And you haven't even got a gun. You cannot, cannot really do anything. You, it is pretty much... Hang on, can you just then? No, you can't. Bird Sanctuary. How am I supposed to get over there? Right. I can jump. Oh, hang on. I can jump through while I'm flashing, apparently. The secret way. Look at this, I found a secret way. Oh, look at all these treasure troves. Yeah, as I was saying, anyway, yeah, um, I don't really relish the idea of going around collecting 4,000 things. Look. I've been on this game 10 minutes now and I've only collected um, 4,000 minus 3,839, that's about 100 and, um, 100 100, hang about, that's 100 and, uh, 4,000 minus 3,837 163, it's taken me 10 minutes to get 163 things so by my calculations to collect everything in the game it's going to take a bloody long time and I'll be honest I haven't got enough time for something like that I've got um, too much stuff to do to be gallivanting around in mines. Oh, but I've also just noticed um, when I'm recording these videos, I keep a little timer of my own, and my little timer says at the moment eight and a half minutes, whereas the game timer says I've been playing for eleven minutes. So it's a little bit of a, a little bit of a liar there. So that's not, it's not actually taking as long as I think. It's still taking a bloody long time, but it's not taking as, as long as I thought it was. I'm a bit lost now, but if you press F1, as you can see there, I've got a map. And that tells me where I've been, how many rooms I've visited, and everything. And you get this weird scrolly effect which hurts your eyes, so... Not really that helpful, the map. I'm not a big fan of uh, reading maps in games anyway. I like to just wander about and uh, see if I can find the treasure for myself. Look at look at that! As I say that, I walk into this room. There's loads of treasure. What a coincidence! Oh, I'm not following my own advice there. Just walking willy nilly into a room, straight into some spikes. I'm, I'm not gonna go right. I'm gonna go up this rope. I want to try and get as high as I can. Literally, I'm just going to sit here, take drugs and 
play this game. Not really, of course I don't need to take drugs. That would be bad and illegal. Uh, right, here we go. Little hole to fall into, wait for the barrel to roll over my head. Jump out, skill. Anyway, I do, oh dear. I do like the style of the game. Um, kudos for that. I like the the old retro music. Um, but I, yeah, I'm genuinely not that bothered about collecting all four thousand of these things. The character is only really likable to me because I like Rick Dangerous. But part of the fun of him was that that dying animation when you died and you went ah and then it threw you off the level, I like that. This guy just turns into a little skelly bone and shrivels up. And you don't want your little guy to shrivel up. Especially when the weather's as bad as it's been outside. You want your, you want the guy to stay standing strong. Got over 200 things now, big nonsense. There doesn't seem to be any lives or anything in this as well, so that's a bonus if you if you're one of these people who likes to just play through games without fear of losing all your lives. Who's she? Oh, I think that's a reference her there. Look at her. She's a reference to the woman in there. Uh, Jet Set Willy, I think. She looks like her. I'm just gonna pick these things up. I'm gonna go back and look at that. That room next door looked interesting, but pick these things up first. Right, screw that room, it looks, looks difficult. I'll go back, try not to get die. It's quite handy when you die, you, f you, know, you flash a bit, watch. You flash a bit so you can walk through stuff. It's always handy. Right, teleport. Press up on the teleport, and you teleport somewhere else. And now if I look at the map, you can see on there, I don't know if you can see, but there's a little square that says 1, and I'm in a different square that says 1. So that teleport links to that teleport. Hang on, I've just hit quit. No, I don't want to quit. F1, there we go. Um, so you can use the teleports to get around the level. And maybe see more of it, collect some more treasure. Anyway, yeah, so I like the music, I like the graphics. I like the style, I like, I like the idea of the game. I just wish... I don't know. There was more to it than just collecting, collecting 4,000 bits of treasure. It's fun. I'll probably come back to it. I'll save it after this review and uh, I'll probably come back to it at some point. Actually, I might not save it because I've done this in a really weird order. I'm going to have to go back and do everything again. Um, but I will, I will. I'll probably come back to it and play the game because I like this style of game. But um, yeah, it just oh wow, and a new a new teleporter. Just feels for me like there's something a little bit lacking. I need to have a little bit of a some extra bit of uh, I don't know va va voom, as the French say va va voom. I need to have a little bit va va voom. hasn't got any va va -voom. Just a chap running about. Where's the va va -voom in that? No va va -voom. So I'll give this game um, an 8 out of 10. Um, Christmas reviews coming up soon, so if you know any indie Christmas games, um, leave a note below. Um, especially if it's something that's coming out soon. I like the review stuff that's at the, at the moment. So if you know any Christmas games that are coming out, let me know by leaving a line below and, uh, and I'll review that for Christmas. And I'll see you next week, big nonsense. Bye for now.